coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man, I appreciate the love. Bang, 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 boom, I appreciate the support. We out here, we out here, man, 33, 33 years of prison stores. We rolling, we getting it in, we getting it in. We still on the road to 100K. We got a little bit to go. We got a little stagnated. We got a little stagnated. We ain't been moving. We ain't been moving. But, hey, I got 100% faith in us, man. We know birthday coming up early in October. You know, that's the deadline. We got to get it done, man. 100K, man. TBP stand up, man. Salute. Salute. Help spread this positive energy, man. Let's get this stuff out there. Let's get it out here to the world, you know. And uh, I can't do it without you, man. It's a team effort, so let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Shout out to everybody in that morning mud, man. I'm I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it more and more, man, because we be laughing in there. We be cutting up, man. There's always somebody that's going to come in there with that uh, tomfoolery. So, you know, but we just be having good conversation, man, and uh um, the Zoom, we picking the Zoom back up so y'all get with the Zoom. I hope all y'all been rocking with this uh, new uh, platform, man, where we putting out videos twice a day now. We putting out uh, throwback videos at 3 o'clock and we putting out new videos at 6. So y'all get a double dose, man, of uh, this TBP Nation, man. So hopefully y'all support, man, and rock with me. If you've seen the video already, it might be one of your favorites, man. So, you know, just go on the video, leave a comment, leave a like. Let, let me know if you uh, noticed something else or picked up something else in the video that you didn't get the first time you watched it. And shout out to everybody who's watched all the videos, all 1,200 and some of the videos, man. You are definitely, definitely uh, TBP royalty, man. And I definitely appreciate you, man. And if you've watched them more than once, I even appreciate you that much more, man. So... Shout out to everybody out there that's rocking with me, man. We can't stop, won't stop. We going on and, and uh, beyond, man. TBP Nation, salute. Um, Today, man, I wanted to talk about this just because it was on my mind. I'm <clears throat> just thinking about things that I be trying to remember about in the prison that, that, that might be interesting to y'all, man. And I just was thinking about today, everything I came up in my mind, what I was thinking about uh, drama with COs. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, a lot of times doing my bit, man, most of the times on every institution I've been on, sometimes you got more drama going on with the COs than you do with, you know, than the population. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have more going on with the COs than you do with the population, man. Because they be having their own little soap opera going on on every prison. You got COs that be, you know, messing with each other. You got COs that be messing with each other's wives. You got all types of uh, tomfoolery and flim flammery going on in them prisons, man. It's like a, a whole fraternity that they got within themselves. That you know, it just be a lot going on. And then, you know, once they get mad when you work with somebody and you get mad with with that person, then you start putting their business out there. Then you start having you know a, a dysfunction at work. You know what I'm saying? And I done seen from all sides, man. I done seen co dudes get involved with CO females and then, you know, they break it off, you know, after they didn't, you know, I guess did what they wanted to do. And this this the uh female COs, when they got to work together in the same block or one of them is in the booth and one of them on the floor, pure chaos. <laughs> pure chaos, man. I done seen the female in the booth won't uh open the doors when the, when the floor officer tell them to open the doors because she don't like them or they beefing or they done had some type of relationship going on and then them broke off. The, the CO in the booth is supposed to be responsive to everything that the CO on the floor does. If he want doors open, he use the radio or whatever, she's supposed to do anything that he says to get done and she's supposed to be his eyes. She's supposed to be his protection because if somebody grab him in the pod or snatch him in the cell or do something to him, she the first response. She the one who got to call the code. So, so if you messing with one of them women and then y'all got beef and you got beef on the pod with, with, you know, with some convicts or some inmates or something and they try to get at you, man, you out back. You know what I'm saying? You out back. And I done seen a female leave a, a dude out there hung out to dry. 
You know what I'm saying? Hung out the drive. He got to arguing with an inmate, and she see him arguing. He he done looked over at her. Like, like you know, that's like a little signal. Like you know, it might be some drama going on, and they going back and forth. And he running his mouth, and dude take off on him. Bang, bang, boom. And she looking right at him, cause dudes look at the booth. You always look at the booth when a confrontation break out, whether it's with convicts or whether it's with a CO, because the booth is the alert system. Because as soon as they find out, that's when you got to be prepared, especially if you own a, a up there in the mountains. You know what I'm saying? You got to be looking at that booth because they, they got them guns. They're going to start shooting. So people be trying to know where they at to see what's going on. Even when, when dudes get to fighting, they look at the booth to see if the people can see it. You know what I'm saying? She looking right at him, man, and he getting dragged. I mean, drag, drag. Dude is tearing him up. He got a couple of punches in. I got to keep it real. He got a couple of punches in, but after that, he just faded out and dude got on top of him. Dude was on top of him. I mean, pounding him, just crushing him. He done curled up in the shell. She sitting right there looking at it, don't say nothing. She act like she don't see it. She turned her head, act like she doing paperwork, everything. But they had a previous relationship that had broke off. She waited till this man got dragged, dragged. I'm talking about dude that got up off of him. He laying on the ground. He trying to get up. He trying to pick his radio up. He trying to hook his uh, stuff back up. He bleeding out the mouth, bleeding out the nose. He walk across the floor. Dude talking trash to him like he get ready to go jump on him again. Then she ended up calling the people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She got fired. Ain't no question she got fired. But she claimed that she didn't see it. But everybody in that block knows she's seen it. You know what I'm saying? But won't nobody going to tell the police that she's seen it. You know what I'm saying? But he kept on. So as soon as he got to the booth, he was cussing her out and everything. B-I-T-C-H, I know you see me. I know you see me, you nasty, stinking. I, he going off on the right, and the people come running in there. Everybody lock up, lock up, lock up. Everybody, he steady cussing her out. So they telling him what's up. She told me, she let him, she let him jump on me. She seen it. She seen it. She ain't called y'all. She seen it. I mean, it was crazy chaos, man. But you know, we in there. That's entertainment to us. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's, it's the CO soap opera, man. It's entertainment to us. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's just so much drama that didn't, that didn't happen with these COs, man. It ain't nowhere in the world that I could, I could even just, even, as I'm speaking, I'm thinking about more stuff. I done seen two CO uh, dudes get the rumbling. And get fired, both of them get fired, they rumbling over a uh, female CO that both of them messing with, you know, he think he, he, he think he hers, and he think he hers, and, and she ain't there one of them, because she actually got a husband at home too, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, so they get the rumbling, they get the clutching inside the salad port, and they in there rumbling, can't nail one of them fight, you know what I'm saying, they look like some stuff that you want to put on a, a comic view or something, but they rumbling, and we love it because we looking at it like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, because that's what happened when we get to fighting, and we like spectacles to them. You know what I'm saying? We like spectacles to them, man. You know, and, and when we see them do it, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, we, we the same way. We looking at them and we laughing. Because we already know if you get to fighting on that compound, it's, it's like a nine. I don't think I've seen but a couple of them get to fighting on that compound that didn't get fired. A handful. But it's like a, a nine out of ten percent chance you're you, you going to get fired. You know what I'm saying? Because you done... You know what I'm saying? You done broke the uh, code of conduct and all this other stuff or whatever they want to call it, right? But yeah, they was clutching in there, man. They was fighting, looking wild. And both of them was, you know, mouth runners like they used to be so tough because they on the other end and they got the uniform on. They always going to act tougher than what they are. But when you actually, we actually seen them fight, dudes was watching them fight. Everybody crowding up at the side of the board looking at them. And everybody holler, get them, get them. And then everybody joking and talking about how they can't fight this, that, and the third. So when, they, when when the crew come and they go in there and break them up and everything, man, they drag them out, man. We, we ain't never seen neither one of them no more. They got fired, right? But, man, it was, it was entertainment. It was entertainment to see. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of it come through them females. Because them females, you know, they get emotionally involved with, with situations. I told y'all way back in the day when I was on Greensville the first time, man, it was a dude on there, man. It was a CO, man. His name was Tyson. He was old light skin joke. I think I spoke about him before. He had a gold tooth. And I don't know what he was doing to these bros or, or what was going on, but man, he had like two or three girls on the compound pregnant at the same time. He had girls beefing with each other. He had girls fighting each other. He had girls getting fired from pulling up on each other on the boulevard, arguing, cussing like some ghetto stuff you'll see on Jerry Springer. But it was all over him. You know what I'm saying? And he just walking around. 
smiling with his little gold teeth, acting like, he, you know, like, hey, I'm doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? But I done seen it all, man. I, I, I done seen it all when it comes to those situations. Um, I know a lieutenant on the same joint when I was there the first time. And um, he was messing with this female CO. And this female CO in particular, man, you know, far as penitentiary goes, she had a real nice body. She was she was relatively cute. And um, dudes used to be trying to get at her. And, and dudes were surprised that she was messing with this lieutenant. You know what I'm saying? Because he was an old, funny, built, old, big, goofy-looking dude. But he's supposed to have been messing with her. And he married. You know what I'm saying? And his wife used to work there, but she don't work there no more. And... The word and got back to her from her old friends on what's going on. Man, don't you know this woman pulled up in the parking lot and waited for them to get off. And when they came out there working and she seen them walking out together, she takes off on the lady. She whooping and fighting the lady right there in the parking lot. Yeah, she fighting the lady right there in the parking lot, man. And we all getting the secondhand information from... The dudes that's on that side, they can see out of their window and see the parking lot. So they can see all that's going on, and they telling us all the news. This is how we know everything that's going on. I told y'all, in the penitentiary, man, news moves faster than an email. <laughs> news, I'm telling you, it moves faster than an email. So they out there fighting. They got all these COs. They standing around, man. They trying to break the stuff up. He trying to get in between them. They kicking, scratching, and fighting and everything. So, as, and the lady ain't get fired because she she ain't do nothing because she worked there. She getting off her off her job, and somebody comes in the parking lot and accosts her. So she ain't get fired. The lieutenant who who was his wife, he got reprimanded. He got suspended. He got some time off. You know what I'm saying? How they justify? I don't know. I guess because it's his wife or whatever. But when the lady who, uh, when the lady who got attacked for messing with the husband, when she come back to work, oh my God, man, they let her have it. <laughs> they let her have it, man. Dude's like, oh man, you mess with such such such. Oh yeah, that's why you don't want to watch this. They talk about gunning. Yeah, that's why you writing them charges up for gunning. You don't you don't like no man built like this. You like them old funny built. Dude. I mean, man, they joked her from here to. God knows, and she had a, a busted lip, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, she had little scratches on her face, and it, from the fight out there, so when stuff like that happened, man, it's like, from our point of view, from, from the convict or the MA point of view, they, you know, it's like the tables is turned, because they always judging us, they always laughing at us, they always, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, praying on our downfall or getting their, you know, they make their money off of our misery. So now when we can flip the tables, man, you got some dudes, they they relentless, man. They would never let her live it down. You know what I'm saying? And they, I mean, every time she say something, smile out of her mouth, say, yeah, that's what, that's what happened to you when you, you out there messing with people's husbands. And, you know what I'm saying? Stuff, you out there messing with people's husbands. You know what I'm saying? So... It, it just be comical in a way, man, but it be entertainment to us because, like I said, it's nothing that we used to. And uh, when it happens, man, you know, it, it, it's pure entertainment for me. You know what I'm saying? I done, I done had a many, many laughs, man. Uh, I've been on a compound with this one dude. He was a lieutenant. And um, his wife, man, she was she was just something else. I ain't like her. You know what I'm saying? Because she was real nasty. She was always nasty. But it was common knowledge, man, that her husband was was sleeping with five, six, seven women on the compound. So every time she write a dude up, that's what a, that's what somebody will say to her. You need to be worried about your husband. You need to be worried about your husband. He messed with CO such such. He messed with and she knew she had to know. You know what I'm saying? She had to know. But that just turned her even more hard where she always write charges. She write charges for anything. She nasty to everybody because in her mind, psychologically, she know that everybody know what her husband doing. But you need to be checking your husband. You take it out on all of the uh, convicts of what's going on in your personal relationship and you mad with us because we know. So she'll write you a charge up for anything, man. She always aggravating you. She always agitating you. She always going to say something just to get a response. And as soon as you say something out of the way, as soon as you use one cuss word, you can rest assured you're going on paper. <laughs> you going on paper. She probably wrote more charges on there at that time that I was there than anybody. She writing everybody up because she mad at the world because she know her husband in there mess with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing about it is, I seen both of them. They still together. I seen both of them 
on the street since I've been on the street. I seen I ran into both of them at a concert. I seen both of them and spoke to them and everything, but they still together. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a known fact. And the, and the rumors is that he done had a couple of babies by a couple of them COs on there too. And uh, you know, but I guess they work it out. They still together, man. But um, yeah, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it's a whole lot of uh, CO drama. I know lieutenants. Uh, messing with regular COs, giving them good positions on the job, especially the major. The major, he 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 assigns all positions. He hires and he fires. So he got his pick of the litter of any CO female on the compound for real, for real, because they all got to cater to him. He ain't up but one step up under award. You know what I'm saying? And I done known him many. <laughs> and when I tell you of many majors who got caught up in them little sex scandals and everything because... They be taking advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a playground to them. They can pick and choose who they want. All the new young women that come on the compound and look halfway or relatively decent, they'll end up working up front because that's where the major want them at because that's where the major is at. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I done known some majors, especially uh, Major Johnson. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Major Johnson. Major Johnson done got suspended. Major Johnson done got time off and everything for messing with these women. You know what I'm saying? But that's what he do because he can't. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, it's a soap opera. And, and yeah, you, the bigger your position, the, the more play you get. Yeah, so the so the major get all the play on, on every compound I've been on. And the major be shooting the shot. Sometimes the majors get, you know, they get too old because they shoot their shot. And some females ain't going for it. A lot of them do, but some of them, some of them ain't going for it. End up telling on them, and they ended up, they end up getting in trouble. But it... it in my experience being locked up, man, once you reach a certain status, like major, captain, and all that stuff above, man, it's got to be some hard, concrete proof to get you fired. Because they'll just move you. They'll move you from one institution to the other institution. Sometimes they'll move you from one institution to the other institution for like six months and bring you back. You know, they might just send you to another camp and then, you know, send a major over there and then they'll bring you back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 what's my man's name? Uh... Uh, 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 Captain Johnson. Captain Johnson, <laughs> man, Cap, he's a warden now, but back when he was Captain Johnson, man, Captain Johnson got so many uh sexual uh harassment charges, man, and they just move him and bring him back. Move him and bring him back. And he come back running his mouth, talking even more trash. You know what I'm saying? I done been on compounds with a female that came running down the hall screaming some old, you know, Captain Johnson and, you know, pull, it, pull himself out and expose himself. He in there gunning. And he the captain. <laughs> he the captain. And he don't even get fired. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, man. I'm telling you, it goes on, man. It, it, I mean, all the way up to wardens, man. I know wardens that, that got caught up in them soap operas, man, where they messing with uh, a, a, a sergeant's wife. Or <laughs> or they messing with the warden's wife. Or, I mean, it just, it, it just be mind-boggling, man. The, all the little things that be going on in the infrastructure of a prison. That the outside world is 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 just oblivious to, you know what I'm saying? It's like a world within a world. Some of them people come to work and they live a completely different life than they living at home, man. And don't nobody know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody know what's going on. Them people being there having whole relationships, you know they had kids, you know it's so many babies that made been made in prison, man. Man, I mean it's so many babies been made in prison, you know what I'm saying? From a CO having a baby with a CO that worked there and her husband actually worked there. Her husband actually worked there. And they be having a whole little things going on, man. So yeah, that's that's a whole different world within itself, man. I need to get some of these COs that I know that then got out in this cool man to come on here and you know and interview them, man, and and get some, you know, see if any of them willing to talk about these type of situations because I'm telling you, it's a, it's a lot, it'd be a lot going on, man. And then you got the CO, the females, man, they always, that's every compound I've ever been on. The ones that get caught up with the inmates. You know, you got COs that done got caught dead red-handed in the act, you know, uh, you know, engaged in sexual activity to, with, with inmates. You know, then got caught in the cell. You know, then went in the cell and, and you know, it must have been so good to them, them fell asleep and got caught in the cell sleep. You got COs that then got caught in the stairways, you know, with their pants down. You got COs that got caught in the gymnasium. You got COs that then got caught in elevators. You got 
you, I mean, you name it, it, it didn't happen. It didn't happen, man. You know what I'm saying? All over, it, it just goes on. It's just a part of the penitentiary. Because them people coming in there try to act like they're not human. They try to act like, you know what I'm saying, they don't have emotions. Like, they're not, you know, uh, uh, you you just nobody. You ain't human. They try to act like you ain't human, but they try to act like they're not human as well because they act like they don't have any emotions. Oh, you just a convict or you just an inmate. Oh, I ain't attracted to you. When in the same time, they'll be attracted to you if they saw you anywhere else besides here. You see what I'm saying? So <clears throat> it's inevitable that they're going to see somebody that they like if they're human. You know what I'm saying? If they're human and, and it all, they always get caught up. I've seen females get walked off the compound on every compound I've been on. Every compound I've been on, 14 different prisons, I've seen female uh, uh, COs get walked off the compound for either engaging in sexual uh, activity with an inmate or either having um, fraternization with an inmate, getting caught with letters from an inmate, getting caught writing letters to an inmate, uh, getting caught bringing drugs into an inmate, getting caught bringing cell phones into an inmate, clothes into an inmate, uh, get caught talking to the inmate on the state phone. They be so caught up, they'll give you their real number and acting like the, the people ain't going to be listening to the conversation when you work for these people and you know they listen to the conversations. Then all they got to do is get win from somebody that's jealous and go say, oh, uh, inmate such and such, mess with such and such. They be flirting, they be talking all the time. Ooh, ooh. That They automatically gonna go start listening to all his phone calls. They gonna start censoring his mail specifically to see if you writing him. They gonna be trying to match up his hand, your mail, uh, uh, the writing on the mail with that CO that worked there looking at her signature on paper. They do all of that. <laughs> but they be so caught up, they'll do it anyway. They'll do it anyway, man. You know. Um, yeah, I can remember even when I was in the situation with the female CO, and um, she used to write letters. But the but the but the thing about it was, I was so in tune and had enough knowledge about penitentiary. By that point, I had to give her the game. So she actually worked on my block, and she was the one who passed out the mail. So she would write me letters, and she would take the letters and hide them on her person. And then when she started delivering the mail out, passing the mail out, she would just slide her letter in there so it never came through the people that read the mail. <laughs> that read the mail. You know what I'm saying? But these are the measures that they will go through because, like I say, man, they can act all they want to, but they're human just like everybody else. So they're going to get caught up. They're going to get involved in certain situations just like they get caught up and involved with other, other uh, COs knowing that it, it is, you know what I'm saying, it, it ain't a good move. Because if it don't work out right, y'all both work together. You know what I'm saying? But it it, it um it don't slow them down, man. There's no shortage of drama with these COs in, in, in the penitentiary, man. From, you know, anything you can think of. Babies, I know COs that got caught with two. Female COs got caught with two male COs having a threesome on the job. <laughs> on the job, man. In the stairway. Thinking that they can't get caught, knowing that there's cameras in there. Knowing that there's cameras in there, man. I'm telling you, man, it, it, it goes down, man. It goes down up in there, man. And we just get the secondhand information. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it be going down. It be happening a lot in there, man. And, um, yeah, I used to just sit back and watch it, man. And just, you know, but they'll go through uh, extreme measures to keep all of that away from you. Because they don't want to be looked at as that. So when we heard something, we everybody talking about it. If you ask a CO, say, man, what happened to CO such such? Man, I heard she was over there, got caught up. I don't know. I ain't heard nothing about it. You heard about it because every day y'all come into work, they got a, a, like a group meeting that they call mustard, and they talk about everything that happened the previous day just to inform the next crew coming on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it, it be weird, man. It be weird, but it's, it's just a part of the penitentiary life, man. It's a part of the penitentiary life, man. But uh, I've, I've seen it all. I've seen female COs get the rumbling on the boulevard. I've seen them get the rumbling in the kitchen. Uh, I've seen them get rumbling on the block. I've seen them get the rumbling in the booth. All over another uh, uh, a male CO that's probably married. You know what I'm saying? And his wife probably worked there. That type of stuff be going on. I'm telling you, be some real live Jerry Springer uh, episodes in the penitentiary. These CO Jerry Springer episodes, man. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what they are. CO Jerry Springer episodes. You can put this on Jerry Springer, man, and it'll be uh it'll be a hit. You know what I'm saying? I can see him on there. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Cause that's hey man. It be wild though, man. But that be our entertainment because like I say, you know, uh everything that's going on inside the penitentiary with inmates and convicts, man, that's daily stuff, man. Everybody used to it, been in the penitentiary, they see it, still drama to them, they still gonna look, they still gonna watch, they still gonna run their mouth, they still gonna be talking about it. But when it goes on with them COs, oh, it's talked about and never forgotten. <laughs> it's never forgotten, man. I mean, all types of stuff be going on. COs, two COs and got caught. In chemical closet, females and, 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 and males in chemical closets with their pants down. You know what I'm saying? Male and male COs have got caught, you know, in hiding places doing strange things. Two male COs. Yeah, I done, I done been around all of this uh, uh, tomfoolery and flam flammery, man, in these 33 years, man. Yeah. They have, and then when they hire them, um, like I told you, when they hire them gay COs or them gay counselors, and man, they be they be doing the most. <laughs> they be doing the most, man. So, yeah, it's just drama filled with these COs, man. But they always passing judgment on you. So when it happens to them, man, it's just you know it's just entertainment for us, man. But anyway, man, I'm just talking this morning, just talking about it. Just was thinking about them COs. Had to get it off my chest. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to get some of these COs to do some interviews, man, if they willing to. Um, don't count on it. <laughs> don't count on it. But I'm, I'm showing up going to ask them, man, because I ain't really been around them. But I know some people that was locked up with me that know some of them that's retired now. And they be around them or they be talking to them or kicking them with them. So, yeah, I think that would be very informative to get one. I had one one time that was willing to come, but then they changed their mind. So, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, man, talk to me in the comments. I talk back, man. Y'all stay locked in, man. We on the road to 100K. We need that 100K, man. We trying to get it. Um, I'm going to be doing some interviews uh, coming up too, man, with some big people, man. Some 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 world-known people, man. So y'all stay tuned for that. Hopefully, they will come to fruition. I don't like to say it and call out no names or something if, if it don't all. Uh, if it don't come to pass, man. But y'all got to support these interviews and y'all got to support stuff like that other than just these prison stores. I definitely would appreciate it. It's all a part of the movement. It's all a part of being informative. It's all a part of letting y'all know some things that y'all may not know because y'all haven't been on the inside. But I'm y'all inside, man. So y'all uh, stay tuned, man. Y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions, man. And duck them hooks, man. Boom, 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 boom. They out there, man. Thank you, special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure delicious. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.